Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti e classroom. Today we are going to discuss two questions from time and work chapter. Very good questions. Very good questions. Actually, these two questions are taken from one of our doubt clarification sessions only. Generally, it's a practice in our institute when our students send some doubts, we just accumulate 10 to 15 questions and I make a video so that that would be uh, helpful for all the students, not only the student uh, who sent the doubt, but also for all the students. Out of that, uh, those sessions, sometimes uh, I pick up two to three questions and explain that one again on the YouTube so that uh, even other students may be benefited. As far as the difficulty level of these two questions is concerned, students, these are moderate questions, good quality questions, and you can expect this type of questions nowadays in many, many competitive exams. As it is, you just pause the video here, okay, and try to do this by yourself and mark the answer. By the way, when answers are concerned, the first question, for the first question, answer is this one. 17th day, the work will be completed. And for the second question, answer is 125%. What is that? How much percent more time B will take to do the work? Uh, work to alone than he takes to do it together with the A. Good questions. Answer is 17th day. Second one answer is 125%. You just check the answer. First, try it by yourself. After that, resume the video. Okay. Now, quickly we go for this one. The first question I am doing students for you. First, read the question properly. While reading only, try to analyze the given data. What's that? Two persons A and B can do a work alone in 29 days each. That means A takes 29 days to complete as well as B. B also takes 29 days, days to complete separately or alone. Then A takes the rest of one day, one day, one day. In our course, we have discussed many questions like this. Anyway, A takes rest of one day after every four days. What do you mean by that one? A works for four days. After that, he takes a rest on the next day, fifth day. Again from 6th day, he start working for another 4 days. Then he will take 1 day rest. As far as BC is concerned, B takes the rest of 1 day after every 5 days. Same thing, after every 5 days, 6th day he takes the rest. And from 7th day onwards, again he is going to continue for another 5 days. Okay. Now if this is the pattern, then if A and B start working together, then the work will be completed on how our work will be completed in how many days our work will be completed on which day 16th day 17th day 18th cannot be determined none of this simple question students here you need not use any fractions any one day's work nothing is required simply we do like this here first a can do the work in how many days 29 b can do in how many days same 29 days what did you understand from this one? Efficiency of A and B is equal. That means if A can do, let's start with the simplest way. A can do one unit of work per day. B must also do one unit of work per day. This is one step in the solution. Actually, this thing can be done in your mind only. Why to write on the paper? A can do one unit in one day as well as B. Now students coming to the scenario, a takes one day rest after four days. B takes one day rest after five days. So whenever the comparison is there, in the regular classes I told you, you take the highest one, that is B's. So after five days, B takes one day rest. Then you take six days as one set. Because five days work, one day rest. Six days as one set. That means in six days, how much work is done by A and how much work is done by B? Obviously, in 6 days, how much work is done by A here? For first 4 days, A works and per day 1 unit, he can do 4 units of work. After 4th day, that means on 5th day, he takes rest. That means he does or he can do 0 amount of work. Alright, then on 6th day, A again starts that uh, by doing 1 unit per day. Got the idea? I just repeat it quickly. F 4 days, right? First 4 days, A can do 4 units of work. 5th day rest, 6th day, 1 unit. That means uh, in 6 days, 
A can complete 4 plus 5, 4 plus 1, 5 units of work. Whereas B's case is concerned 5 days. In the first 5 days he can do 5 units of work and on 6th day he takes rest. After, after 5 days, 1 day rest. That means net in 6 days B can again do 5 units of work. All right. Needless to say that one, but you have to do it because many questions have many twists. That's the reason why I'm explaining with the basic method so that everybody can understand. Here, total amount of work is obviously 29 only. Okay. I need not explain that one. Otherwise, simply 29, 29, LCM is 29. I can take 29 as the total amount of work so that A is efficiency, 1 unit per day, B is 1 unit per day. Simple one. Okay. Now, in 6 days, in first set of, see, we will take 6 as 1 set. In 6 days, A and B together can do 5 plus 5, 10 units of work. Because A and B start working together. In first 6 days, how much work is completed here? 10 uh, units of work is completed. Now, to complete 29 units, how many days that would take? So, here into 3 sets you take. Into 3 sets is 18 days. In 18 days, how much will, uh, work will be completed? 10 into 3, 30. Why did I go for into 3? Because 10 into 3, 30, 30 is very near to 29. In the basic classes, I told you this logic also for alternate day concept. Okay. Anyway, students. Now, 30 units of work has been done in 18 days. But I need 29 units of work. So, one unit has been done extra. One unit extra has been done. Now, who has done this one unit work and how many days it took for that one? Simple students, by the completion of 18th day, 30 units of work is been completed. In the last day of this one, 666, last day of the third six days, who worked there? A works. For that matter, every six days, in every six days, sixth day, A works. B does not work. And A can complete only one unit. That means, that means when you want to deduct this one unit of work, it took A to complete that one unit, one day it took for him. That means from 18 days, you have to deduct one day. Because that one day's work was done by A, one unit should be deducted. So, in how many days the work was completed? 17 days or 17th day the work was completed. My answer is 17th day. Got the clarity? I explained very slow pace because the beginners should also understand this one. I hope the logic is clear. Always do the questions like this. By the way, students, to do this one, you need not write all these things on the paper. You can do it in the mind only. Very simply, you can do that one. Okay, right. Now go for the next question. Uh, this is a good question. Actually, here you must know the concept of percentages and application of percentages concept to time and work questions by considering the relationship between efficiency and the time. Okay, now let's start the question here. Here, work 1 and 2 are done by 2 persons A and B. Simple statement. Then, A takes 80% more time to do work 1 alone than he takes to do it together with the B. What did you understand from this one? A takes 80% more time when compared to the time taken by A and B together to do the work. A takes 80% more. Now the question is, how much percentage more time B will take to do work to alone than he takes it to do together with A? What exactly you need to find out here students? Comparison between time taken by B and A plus B together. Isn't it? How much more percent Time, as far as time is concerned, how much more percentage of time taken by B when compared to the time taken by A and B together? We have done many questions of this sort in DI as well as uh, time and work chapter also. So, just make a note of that or keep it in the mind what exactly you need to find out. What you need to find out here? First, I need to find out time taken by B. Okay, minus time taken by A and B together divided by time taken by A and B into 100 because I need percentage. Now, we got it in DI, we have done many things. Comparison here, time taken by B uh, with that of time taken by A and B. B is how much percent more, more than what this one. 
So difference between these two timings divided by base will be time taken by A and B into 100. Okay. Now let us start this one. I can do very easily time taken by B. How can I find this one? By taking the relationship between time and efficiency. With the help of first uh, statement only, I can do 90% of the question. How? A takes 80% more time when compared to A and B together to take. That means in the basic way, I'll tell you actually in my regular course, I generally teach or taught this type of questions with direct step. But here there may be some beginners also. I start with this after that I'll give you the direct step. What is this one? According to this statement, if A and B take 100 days to complete that work, A must take 80% more time that is 180 days. Simple. Alright. Actually, I in our regular course, we go like this. 80%. A takes 80% more time. 80% is nothing but 4 by 5. When A takes 80% more time when compared to A and B, applying percentage concept to time and work. How? Simple interpretation. If A takes 4 plus 5, 4 plus 5, 9 days, a and B together will take only 5 days. That is the concept actually application of percentages here to time and work. So actually the direct one is if A takes 9 days, A plus B together take only how many days? 5 days. That is the meaning actually. If you want you can go for the simplification you get the same figures. 0, 0 cancel, 2, 5 times, 2, 9 times, everything is same. But next time onwards, you try to interpret this one. Okay, right, over, over. Now, my task is to find out those two variables, right? Here they have given time, from time to efficiency you go. What is that one? As far as time comparison, time ratio is concerned, A is to A plus B. What is that one? A takes 9 days, A plus B only 5 days. Then as far as the efficiency is concerned, why I am going for efficiency? Because from the efficiency of B only, I am going to take the time taken by B in comparison with A and B together. But to go for efficiency of B, I should know A's efficiency. Now I am converting to efficiency, reciprocal. Re efficiency is 5 is to 9, A is to A plus B. That means if A can do 5 units of work in one day, A and B together will do 9 units because their efficiency is more. Isn't it? Now students, here A's efficiency is 5 units. A plus B's efficiency is 9 units. That means B's efficiency is 9 minus 5, 4 units. Alright, but I need B's time in comparison with A and B together. Now let us go in this way. First from efficiency to time you go for. As far as efficiency ratio is concerned, B to A plus B. Efficiency. What is that one? B's efficiency is 4 and A plus B's efficiency is 9. Now the time ratio is reciprocal. That means if B takes 9 days to complete the work. I am writing 9 days. A plus B will take only 4 days. This one. Now I got both the variables there. Okay. I am going to write the same thing here. Time taken by B here. Time taken by B 9. Minus time taken by A and B together that is 4. Divided by time taken by a and B together 4 into 100. Simple. Or here only you can give the answer 9 minus 4 that is 5 by 4. 5 by 4 is that is all. Thank you very much students and uh, uh, I just request all of you to share our videos with all your circles because I am telling you students to learn aptitude very less teachers are available to give the aptitude or quant and uh, reasoning. Of course, I teach uh, quant reasoning, English and general awareness also. So, very less teachers are there who are teaching from the basic level by not making it commercial. So, please share our videos with all your circles so that other students may also be knowing our teaching methodology. Thank you very much.